This is one of my best animal encounters ever. Hello, my name is Patrick. I'm a Swedish guy who loves traveling to try new food and throw myself into new adventures. For 10 years, I've been all around the world. And in this video, I'm exploring Costa Rica. Right now we're up north in Costa Rica, near the Nicaraguan border actually. And uh, I'm really excited because we're gonna go uh, on this river behind me here. Uh, I'm on this tour and they have boats. So we're gonna go on these boats and like explore the whole river and look out for lots of animals. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you everything we'll see. Okay, here we go. Alrighty, let's go. We just spotted a group of howler monkeys and one of them were literally like a screaming uh, a second ago. Like a loud scream. It was pretty cool. They're up there. That's so cool. Yeah. I never heard that before. The boss the The alpha is how it the alpha is Ah. That was the beta that was by itself. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Was he like mar marking like his wiener close uh -huh. and tell us all? Marking, this is the way it's actually marking from, from uh, the old species or other species. He wants us to leave. Some way, some way. Uh -huh. Privacy. I don't blame you. <laughs> I love this. Sitting on a boat in the middle of the jungle on a river. It's a light rain falling. Howler monkeys in the trees. Caimans in the water. Birds everywhere. I mean, so cool. The Costa Rican jungle. I will never get bored of this. I can sit here all day, all week. Just immersed with nature. Oh my god, I got those goosebumps. I got goosebumps, we found a sloth. It's a two-fingered sloth right up here. Can't see it in the, in the GoPro, of course, but it's so freaking cool. I always wanted to see a sloth and here it is. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Wow. And it's just not one sloth. It's a sloth mama with a baby. This is absolutely incredible. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. walking tour together with my guide Harold and look at this female sloth she's on her way kind of down to us it's amazing and they're kind of nocturnal animals so they don't move a lot in the day but this one is moving so much this is absolutely incredible this is more than I could have ever hoped for wow I'm like a little baby on Christmas Eve. Wow! 
there's one right there only like two three meters away from me and then up here just in these bushes up here there's a, like a little baby sitting right there I don't know if you see it in the leaves so there's one two three here and then further up in this tree over here there's also a fourth one She's literally on the ground right now. I'm still kind of shaking because I just got to see that slot coming all the way down from the top of the tree to the ground to take its weekly poop. They only come down to do that once a week. So to be able to see that, that's just absolutely incredible. My guide Harold said that the last time he saw a slot came all the way down to the ground was two weeks ago. So I'm super duper lucky to be able to see a slot coming down. And I spent like a whole hour just standing watching this female slot all the way from the top of the tree, all the way down to the ground, just in front of the path where we were standing. So, so cool. And oh my God, oh my God, that's so good. I love absolutely love animal encounters and this might be my top one i don't know like i've seen a tiger in nepal but this is wow costa rica and seeing sloth has been on the top of my list for a long 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 time so right now i'm like in heaven <laughs> oh oh my god wow i'm gonna live on this for a long time Next morning, I hopped in a taxi and headed to the northwest coast. I just got to the Pacific coast of Costa Rica to play at the Cocos. I'm renting this little apartment right here. Uh, it's really cute, a little room. Here we are. Aircon, nice bed, some storage. It's a little small room with a TV there. Have a little view. And I'm only uh, 100 meters away from the beach. I'm gonna go and check out the beach soon. Just need to kind of just relax a bit after like three hours going here. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I'll show you the also the the tour. I give you the tour here. So we have bathroom, really nice, and there's like a, a kitchen also. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's like a little nice garden. You hear the birds outside. It's really hot though, a lot warmer than, uh, than it was in um, uh, La Fortuna because we were, yeah, it was just cooler there. Um, but here, a lot, lot warmer. I'm excited because I'm gonna see the Pacific Ocean from this part of the world for the first time. I obviously seen it from uh, the east coast of New Zealand and uh, some islands in the Philippines, but I never seen it from uh, the American continent. So right now I'm walking down to the beach, Playa del Cocos, to see the Pacific Ocean from this side for the first time. I don't know, it's something about it. I don't know why I feel something about it, but it's, it feels pretty cool. And coming down here now. All right, look at this. It's like a little park here first. It's 6.30 in the morning and I'm on my way to go scuba diving with rich coast divers here in El Cocos in Costa Rica and we're gonna go somewhere along the coast out here and tomorrow is my most exciting day because then we're going 
diving at the Bats Islands where you can spot bull sharks. But first, starting with a closer dive here, getting ready for tomorrow. It's 5.45 a.m. Literally stepped out of bed and on my way to the dive shop. We're having an early one because we're going all the way to the Bat Islands, which is famous for the bull sharks that are there. So it's been on my list to dive with bull sharks for a long time. So I'm really excited. But of course, you'll never know. So I cross my fingers to see them today. Once I ticked the bull sharks off my list, it was time to move on. It's so warm today, like I'm sweating so much. I just got on the bus, the public bus from Playa del Cocos. Uh, my final destination is Tamarindo Beach, which is a little bit more uh, west, southwest, down the coast. Um, and uh, I was offered a taxi for 80 US dollars yesterday to go there. The bus is gonna cost me, well, the first uh, leg, which takes me almost there, it's only 1,500 kolones, which is uh, basically less than three dollars. And uh, the next leg will be shorter, so I, I'm not expecting it to be more than that either. So, compared to 80 dollars, this is a bargain. This is why I take public buses. Not only because of the money though, it's also more fun. You get to travel like the locals, you get to see uh, everyday life, uh, commuting, and maybe you meet some people. You never know what happens. This is the fun part about traveling. Alrighty, the tide is about to come in, so I head down here on Timorindo Beach to take a surf lesson. I haven't been surfing since the Philippines back in 2015, I think. Uh, I also done some surfing in Bali. Uh, I'm a total beginner. I have managed to stand up before on a board, but I don't know if I remember uh, how to do it. So I'm gonna take a lesson today, two hour, only $45. That's pretty good, right? Um, and yeah, the waves look uh, nice and easy out there today, not too hard, so perfect for uh, beginners, they say. So um, yeah, it's gonna be fun. All right, it's high tide, it's the afternoon, and I'm having the second part of my surf lesson together with Marco. Hey, buddy. How many years have you been surfing? Uh, 35. 35 years. Yeah. You're going to teach me all the professional tricks. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What are we going to do now? 
Huh? What are we gonna do right now? We're gonna go in the water? In the water. Or are we gonna practice on land? No, I'm gonna do it in the water. Let's in go. the water? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Swim, 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 swim. Come on, come on. Paddle, 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 paddle. 